Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are working on a Dukes of Hazard police cruiser. As you can see, our car looks like it got a, a nice paint job with either some testers or maybe some nail polish. I kind of recognize that blue. I'm pretty sure if you buy a testers metallics paint set, it comes with that blue and that silver. So I'm hoping our glass isn't all marred up because as you guys know, testers is oil based and oil based paints don't do well on plastics. These cars that have these aftermarket paint jobs, usually the paint acts like a protectant. Even though this one got a little customizing, it looks like it's in real good shape. So I got a little cup of super clean here. So I'm gonna get my plastic parts soaking as soon as possible. And hopefully by the end of the video, this paint will just flake off with a toothbrush. So we'll come back to that a little bit later. I'll park that up here. Cool, so I'm looking forward to this. I made some stencils. So we're gonna try to do some gold leafing for our sheriff badges on the doors today. You know what, I might as well soak this in the super clean as well. The chrome that's on here isn't gonna be very useful to us and I definitely do not wanna paint over it. So maybe we'll soak this as well. And if all this chrome comes off, I'm okay with that. We'll just redo it. You can see how super clean's already attacking that chrome. Check it out, it's just sizzling away. So this has been in here for about five minutes and look how far we've progressed already. All that chrome is gone. All we got left is that tester's paint. So that's very promising. Good old super clean, does it again. So we'll leave that in there for a little bit longer and hopefully that tester's gets broken up. Yowza, that was some resistant paint. I had this trip a couple times and it still didn't even get it all. And that testers did a real good job of cocooning. That white paint that was underneath, it was there was just a perfect layer of white below all that stuff. So some kid must have really not appreciated having a police car at the time. This casting's a little bit crusty. A lot of pock marks on here. Man, there's just paint everywhere. I might have to strip it one more time instead of trying to chase it all down. So 25 years later, this is what the set looks like when the cars are in various levels of distress. General Lee's got the worst of it with a caved in roof and broken pillars. So it's kind of cool to see. So maybe we'll park those back here for a little inspiration. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The original Ertl set from 1997. Pretty cool seeing all those cars together again because I don't believe they all showed up here at the same time. We've got a couple of those Boss Hog cars. I think I'm up to three of these cruisers and that is the only General Lee that's made it so far. It's too bad they didn't put Roscoe's like Dodge Monaco in the set, you know? I don't even remember them using a Pontiac Bonneville on the show. I'm just trying to freshen up this trim a little bit, take some of the dings. Be a lot better looking once we get her painted. I'm thinking I could probably go to the paint booth and I'm gonna hit this with a little white sealer, white paint, and then clear coat. And we'll get that baking and we'll come back and we'll do a little bit of gold leafing. It's gonna be fun, okay? I'll meet you in the spray booth.
So I got her car baking in the paint oven. Why don't we have a have a little check in on this stuff? She's looking pretty. Boy, that looks like a hard night of drinking. Is what that looks like. That worked really good. All of our chrome is gone, and it looks like just some of the larger pieces of that tester's remains. So that is pretty impressive. Got a little bit of 2000 here. And I think we'll just kind of wet sand this thing, get it ready to spray the Molotow. Just gonna try to get these bumpers as smooth as I can before we go hit them with the chrome. Here's our base. It looks pretty good. Clear coat on our car is dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and carefully scuff the areas where we're gonna do a little bit of decal work here. Mainly just these doors. So I have prepared some decals for this. I don't know how well they're gonna look. So it's going to be our little vinyl mask for when we spray our glue to do our gold leafing. It's going to be pretty fun. I like using this stuff. Well, let's try something like that. I think this was limited to Roscoe's car, but I'm not sure. I haven't seen the show in so long. And even when I did, I was pretty much a kid. I'd like to go back and rewatch all that stuff. These have a little gold sheriff on the front and on the back. So I think I'm going to do that detail just because it's more gold leafing. And I love gold leafing, so. There's some more. Good enough, man. That's going to work for our situation. Maybe give me a second and I'll just do the other side quickly. I'm going to head to the spray booth and we're going to spray a little glue down. And we'll try this out. Gold leafing already. This is fun. Let's go. Last time we played with gold leaf, you guys wanted me to try an experiment where I leave the stencil on. So we're gonna try that. I'm gonna try that first. The scraps are large enough for what we're doing. So we're gonna try a stencil on approach and see what happens. In theory, there's glue on the stencil, there's glue on the car. When we peel the tape off, it should take all of the extra gold leafing with it. So, and by the way, this is imitation gold leafing, so it's a little bit easier to handle, as you can see. I can kind of just, I don't know, you can get a little rough with it. So now if that doesn't peel off clean, I don't know what we're gonna do. But at least we're going to say we experimented. We've got various brushes if we need them. Peel one of these off. Let's see if we just have a perfect little square left over. Nah, not so much. If it was real gold leafing, it would probably do it no problem. But because this is imitation, the stuff's fairly strong. Oh, that one's a little bit better. Let's try the big one. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad. There's definitely a, a solid theory there. 
Well, I need a new method of controlling all these little crumbs I get everywhere. I don't know how those other guys do it. This stuff just sticks to everything. All right, experiment results. I'm gonna say the side that had the vinyl on when we did our leafing came out way cleaner and I didn't have to mess with it as much. So that is some good news. So in the future, I'm gonna keep experimenting with that and see how it goes. I'm gonna grab my decals here and I wanna just lay one on top of that and we'll see how it looks. Here we go. Not bad, you know? It's cool because it looks real. But at this scale, it's a little bit hard to read. I think we're gonna go with it. It looks pretty cool. A little sheriff I can put up there. Cool, man. So I was going to head back to the old spray booth here and give this a clear coat and seal in all our gold leafing and our decals. And then I wanted to do some details on our base, get our taillights looking red and then some other things. And then I got to go to the store and get some future shine. Okay. So meet you in the spray booth and we'll just clear coat this bad boy quick. All right, so I'm back from the store. I purchased some of this. Some of my old school subscribers will remember the old Pledge Revive. This is like the Canadian equivalent to Future Shine. So any kind of floor gloss for hardwood floors should work for doing windshields and other things. So I'm just in the process of doing my final sanding job on our windshield. There's a couple areas where the enamel actually damaged our glass a little bit. So I got to sand out the damage. So that's what I've been doing. I knew for a fact I was going to need some of this floor gloss today, so... Boy, some of these marks are in there pretty deep. So I haven't used this stuff in ages. But this big old jug was about $9. And it'll last a whole lifetime. A guy could reuse this stuff as long as the parts that are going in are super clean. You could pour it back in your bottle. Mm, it has a nice fresh scent. All right, Pledge, don't let me down. Oop. When we let this bad boy dry, it should be good as new. Heck yeah. It's so one of those things where you want to try to wick off as much as possible. I'm going to see if I can go speed cure this stuff in the paint oven. That'll be beneficial to know, so I'm going to go collect some data, okay? I wonder if that's Roscoe's real license plate. Can anybody confirm that, please, in the comments? I'm curious. Those are looking pretty legit. I like that with the little license plate on there. Mm hmm mm hmm I'm gonna do these side markers as well. Maybe I'll do one off camera so I can see what's going on here. Beautiful man. Cool, so once these details dry, I think we're gonna go ahead and do an assembly. This is looking real great, I think. The body should be dry now. I checked on our glass and our little uh, light bar and those look perfect. They're nice and glossy and they should be dry now as well. So I think I'm ready to do an assembly. So maybe allow me to go get my pieces. Give you guys the close up of our sheriff badge. You can see that in the light. It's pretty cool, I would say. 
I was just putting on some wheels and look at these beauties. These are from a Matchbox Courier truck. They're total cop wheels. And it's so weird that they're on basically the ice cream truck body, the small version from Matchbox. So let me do a quick assembly and we'll have a look at this thing, okay? Glee, 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 it's gonna be sweet. Don't look right here. I didn't realize the decal one corner was folded over itself. So it looks a little bit goofy. So just don't look right there. The rest of the car, rest of the car is looking real nice. I'm so happy to have the Pledge Revive back in our arsenal. That does an amazing job restoring glass. As you can see our glass is just perfect. And I really did sand with 600 and then with 2000 before I dipped it. So it's gonna be super promising for the future. I really like the look of this car, especially with those Matchbox wheels on there. Looks better than it ever did. So hopefully you guys appreciated the video. Please make sure you leave a like to support the channel. Say hello in the comments and I will see you guys in the next one. Hell yeah, man.